Those include you. H. Conrez, 244, introduced by Representative Phil Gingrey of Georgia. This measure expresses support for the goals and ideals of the National Day of Recognition for Long-Term Care Physicians. I have a management amendment at the desk that makes some technical changes to this resolution, and I ask unanimous consent that this amendment be adopted and considered as a base text without objections. So ordered, H. Res 1040, introduced by Representative Vic Snyder of Arkansas. This bill honors the life and accomplishments of Donald Harrington for his contributions to the literature of the, in the United States. H. Res 1174 introduced by Representative Lynn Woolsey of California. This measure supports the goal and ideals of National Women's History Month. H.R. 4840 introduced by Representative Patrick Tiberi of Ohio. This measure designates the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 1979 Cleveland Avenue in Columbus, Ohio as the Clarence D. Lumpkin Post Office. These are all worthy measures and I urge their adoption. Does the ranking member have any comments on these great ideas and great naming of these institutions by these outstanding members of the United States Congress? Yes, I do, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to thank you for holding this business meeting. And we have reviewed the postal namings and resolutions as amended and find that they meet the requirements of the committee. I would like to put particular emphasis on a rather thoughtful one, HRES 1040, authored by Vic Snyder. As I reviewed the, uh, uh, the accomplishments of Donald Harrington, I found a life story that I believe is an example of where Congress, when Congress takes a moment to note the life and accomplishments of individuals, it costs us virtually nothing. One might say it even fills the empty time, uh, so often on the floor. But when I looked at a man who, as a 12-year-old, lost his hearing and yet did not lose his ability to think and to create, whether it was his first a novel, The Cherry Pit, or the more than a dozen additional novels he authored throughout his life, he did represent somebody who overcame adversity and who added to uh, the enjoyment of generations before us and generations to come. So I'd like to thank the chairman, but particularly note Mr. Snyder's uh, attentiveness to this individual after his passing. And with that, I yield back and urge support for all the bills. I thank the gentleman from California, ranking member, for his um, uh, statement. I ask unanimous, unanimous consent that the measures previously described be reported favorably to, by the committee without objections, so ordered. This concludes our business for today. The committee stands adjourned.